Peru, Peru, Mama, Peru, Adira. Adira, Peru, Peru, Peru. Adira, Peru, Peru, Mama, Peru, Adira. What we are seeing in Africa is we are going through trouble times in terms of wildlife conservation. There's so much poaching, there's so much illegal wildlife trade. So now, with Transfrontier Conservation, we are like pulling our resources together to fight this battle. We created fences that have disrupted movements of animals. And because movements of animals are disrupted, animals are not able to access resources that are critical to their survival in various countries. So we need to bring them down. And the Transfrontier Conservation Areas is doing that by restoring the natural ecosystems uh, where animals can move freely and access resources that they need for their survivals. That's really what uh, uh, brought about the concept of the TFC in this area so that we can manage uh, the entire ecosystem uh, jointly with our colleagues on the Zambian side. We are strong advocates for these TFCIs because they have so many potential benefits. Uh, we can help to protect biodiversity, we can help to improve the livelihoods of people through a fair access to the natural resources in that area. But even beyond, if you look at tourism, if you look at cross-border cooperation, if you look at regional integration, there are so many benefits that go even beyond the conservation agenda. The elephants we are releasing today, they will improve genetic uh, diversity in this park. They will also improve uh, the value of tourism in this national park. We are so proud that we have managed to move these elephants over a distance of 800 kilometers. I have not so far heard of such a move. So I think it has been fantastic on our part. What we are trying to develop now is a situation where we can create wealth through tourism and through that wealth be able to create uh, employment for both Malawi and Zambia. Just like the animals cooperate, just like the poachers cooperate, as governments and as people, we need also to cooperate and work together. This is one of the continents that definitely is blessed with more animals and civilization than any other in the world. And as Africans, we need to look after that. If we are not going to be careful and we let this to slip off our fingers, rest assured, we shall only remain with photographs of animals such as elephants to show to the future generation and will be judged harshly. Let's conserve for today, tomorrow, and the greater future to come.